It's the weekend. Let's bet some NBA basketball. I am Joel Walkowski. This is your daily NBA bets with the professional gambler. Make this the baseline for all your selections. It's been a rough week after a hot start. Our 13 and 2 record, it's 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 now um it's now 14 and 8. It, it could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse, but uh, I'm sorry. So I'm going back to the drawing board. I'm going to my background in statistical analysis to maybe help out these picks a little bit more. Not to just like do math and come up with it that way, but we're going to second guess our inferences using a little math. And that's going to be a fun part of our journey. We're going to get a little wild moving forward on this show. My dog is licking my foot right now, so I'm having the presence of mind to just stay here, locked with you, and make some NBA money tonight. So let's stick with the home teams tonight, right? Keep it simple, stupid, because that'll fit the theme with this week. We're doing everything we should, and we're still getting our asses kicked. We're picking teams that have the schedule against them. Maybe it's too early in the season to be doing that. Maybe it's too early in the season to be doing a lot of things, but... One thing that will never be too early for is taking the better team at home. And, you know, it's for the first time this year, I'm getting on board with the New York Knicks, favored by two and a half points against the Oklahoma City Thunder, who've been making me look foolish all week. The Thunder suck. They're tanking, and every time they win a game, it means my Pistons are going to get a better draft position against them. So even if they win, I win. So right here, I think the Knicks are proving to be pretty legit. They're a very hard-nosed team. Julius Randle has established himself as a go-to guy. R.J. Bear has continued to improve. They've got rim protection. They've got shooting, ball movement, defending. It's a Tom Thibodeau team. That's exactly what Knicks fans wanted, and they got it. All these youngins are going to be playing 47 minutes a game till they got no cartilage left in their knees, but that doesn't matter. We don't remember Amari Stoudemire. Win these games right now. Knicks have won five in a row. The city's riding high. Like, Knicks fans are so hyped right now. Like, you can't help but be compelled, especially against a bad team that's been overperforming recently. Give me the show me the talent on Oklahoma City outside of a couple pieces in the backcourt. The talent is draft picks coming up in the ensuing seasons. And even still, Oklahoma City winning the all these games doesn't really suit their purposes. And I ran a projection of this score and I got 114 to 116 in favor of the Knicks. So that scares me a little bit. I know that's right there on the lines, but I'm still going to take the Knicks by two and a half here. I do kind of like that over as well, but the Knicks at 730 on a Friday seems like a good play to me. And all our stuff, we're hanging out on the early slate right here. So apart from that, apart from these New York Knicks, we're going to stick around on the East Coast. We're going to travel up the 95. We're going to stop in New Haven, Connecticut, get us some Frank Pepe's. Then we're going to go to the TD Garden. We have the Wizards. They're visiting the Celtics. They're a a five-and-a-half-point dog. And we're going to take the home team. We're back in the seas here. Straight off, how fun is it that Peyton Pritchard, a guy who looks like he came from Southie, who acts like he came from Southie, is now the pride of Southie after stealing a rotation spot, winning against the Nets via a putback with 0.2 seconds remaining. Brad Stevens is at his best with his back against the wall. He's able to develop players, put them into a certain role, and they generally succeed. Now, the Wizards, there's a lot of talent, but basketball, it's not just about talent. It's about how that talent comes together. That's why you don't see these super teams win in their first year very often. Maybe you do with LeBron and AD, but that's because it's AD's league. However, Westbrook isn't fully incorporated. Beal's balling out of control, but they don't really have an identity yet. Whereas Boston... They're missing Kemba, but that's probably a blessing in disguise because their identity is their young forwards. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, they're both playing like all NBA guys right now. And I'm going to advise the Celtics here. 
I have this as a seven point Celtic victory. The line's five and a half. And NBA games, it's all about the three, five, seven. The end of these games, a team closes it out when they get it to five points with like 50 seconds left. Buy this to five. Buy that half point. Get that five and a half out of there. Take this to five. Then take the Celtics against their divisional rival, the Washington Bullets. Wizards. I don't know. Bullet Wizards. Who cares?